I'm Thomas Davidson, founding principal of Constitution High School. David was nominated by me because he's a very special person. He epitomizes everything that we try to espouse here at Constitution. He's friendly, he's hardworking, he's always volunteering for things that need to get done, and he's a pleasure. Any principal would love to have David in his building. I admire David most especially for him facing his challenges and becoming a very good student. He's in the top 5% of his class. He's been accepted to major colleges and universities throughout the country. And he's everything that we want our students to be. My name is David Hummel. I am a senior here at Constitution High School located on 7th and Market, home of the Generals. Uh, my plans for after high school include going to college, although I do not know where I would like to attend because I've, I've chose two schools and only two schools. I know because people like you choose five or six, I just chose two. The two schools that I have been looking into and have been accepted into are St. Joseph's University here in Philadelphia and Westchester University out in Westchester. When I, when I found out that I won Student of the Month, I was shocked. I didn't know what to expect from it, and there was just so much emotion, because just being nominated for such a thing is such an arduous task that takes up a lot of time and effort and lots of recommendations. But I guess just to try and sum it up in one word, it would just be ecstatic. I would just like to thank all of the teachers here because I've gotten to know a lot of them over the past four years here and if it wasn't for them then I wouldn't be here. I taught David for two years for physical science and biology. I got him in ninth grade when he was still green around the edges but he was always willing to participate and fun to have around and he was always telling me about charities that he does. He does a um, stair walk for lung cancer awareness every year and he fundraises for that and tells me about it every year. His family all participates. And you know, he's just a wonderful student to have around. He participates, he's helpful, he comes in at the end of the day and cleans up for me every day, but he also helps um, tutor other students and offers all the time to come in and help out with my classes and tutoring. I'd like to tell David good luck in everything he's going to do because he's going to turn out to be something great. Hi, I'm Sultan. And I'm Yamir. And we are very good friends of uh, David, David here. here. He's a very intelligent young man here in Ashgo. school. He helps almost everyone with their work, and he's an excellent student. Comes to school every day. Always on time. And um, let's see, he's very tall. He is very tall. Very much tall. Compared to me being a 5'3". <laughs> David is like a 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, yes. He's, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's, he's a great friend. He's very loyal. He, Comedic. He is very funny, surprisingly. I've known these two here for practically all of high school, and they have been two of the best people that you could have asked for when it comes to acquaintances, in a sense. I still haven't made up for when you reset my calculator in ninth grade. That was in ninth grade, dude. <laughs> I think whenever we, whenever, when we, when we leave, we should, we need to make, pl we made plans to like meet up at a specific spot, at a specific place within a specific time period, and that specific time period is ten years. <laughs> Maybe if, even longer though. Maybe. Yeah. We'll we'll meet up in different you know times and places and during our college years, you know, like taking breaks and all that. We'll probably go on a trip or whatever, and it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, always fun. Oh my gosh. So were you there in Sci-Fi Club when we were playing uh, Cards Against Humanity, and Blue was, was harassing David? <laughs> oh God. So it was, um, we were all sitting here in the IMC playing Cards Against Humanity, mm -hmm. and I think no, we weren't playing cards against me. We were playing. Um, was it Uno? No, it wasn't Uno. What was it? What was it called? It was people that had that had their heads down. Oh, were detectives and all that. Oh, uh, like like mafia. Yeah, Ma mafia. We were yes. playing mafia. Yes. And David died, and I wasn't didn't Blue die too? 
and it was um over over um on the bookshelf. <laughs> the Lou was just messing with them. <laughs> just like talking to him and stuff and just like just touching him. <laughs> it was like the Lou's harassing me. And everyone else just paid it no mind. We we're all just in there playing the game. And they were all hysterically laughing. Everyone was laughing. It was it was a great time. Because, you know, how to make great friends, you you play games which ruin friendships. You play games that ruin friendships and rebuild those friendships. And then ruin them again because <laughs> people are really sadistic and have no idea what they're doing with their lives. These two right here. Me. Don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> you got that. So what, what memory do you have of me? I really can't say. There's been so many good memories that I made with it. I mean, pretty much right now, I would say, since he won Studio in the Month, I say how excited he is to see him happy. Sex is very great for him. I'm a social studies teacher at Constitution High School. I've taught here for nine years, and I have to say David Hummel is an exceptional student, um, a student that comes along, uh, you know, as a teacher's dream. He loves to learn. He is self-motivated by his own intellectual curiosity. He is a history geek like me. He loves history. And I remember meeting him um, as a ninth grader. And you know, I was just so impressed by how much he already knew about history. But throughout the four years he's been at Constitution High School, he has worked so hard to expand his knowledge and prepare himself um, for a bright future. What I like about David is David is a student who really helps others. Um, he doesn't do it because he's asked to do it. He does it because he just likes to help people. He loves to help teachers. If there are students who are struggling in a classroom, he'll come over and work with them and really kind of just share what he knows in a way that's uh, supportive and I think just shows the spirit of the school. He, you know, is someone who um, is an active citizen. Um, whenever we have school events, he's always there, usually behind the scenes doing a lot of work and um, doesn't ask for any recognition, but he's just so dependable, so reliable and um, respectful, well-mannered. He's just a, a pleasure to teach, and um, we're going to miss him very much, but I know that wherever he goes in the future, he's going to have that kind of impact because he's just um, a kind and hardworking and just um, dynamic kid. He's really a superstar, so it's been a pleasure teaching him for the past four years. My name is Tim Carpenter, and I'm a teacher at Constitution High School. I teach mathematics and I teach music. Um, David been in my class, um, he was in my geometry class and my algebra 2 class and now he's in my music class. So I had him in 10th, 11th and now in 12th grades. And David is a joy to have in class. He is interested in what's going on, he does his work, um, he is uh, respectful, he's uh, generous. Um, in music class especially, he's so excited about what's going on. Uh, he has um, discovered new kinds of music that he's um, exploring. Uh, he is the kind of person who um, really deserved to be in the National Honor Society, and he is in the National Honor Society, and he's the secretary of the National Honor Society, and he is a fantastic secretary. He communicates with everybody. He lets everybody know what is going on, where they need to be, when. Um, and if he thinks that I haven't been proactive enough, um, he gently um, prods me to um, uh, to um, get on the get on the ball and do what needs to be done, which is uh, which is great too. So. Um, I am just delighted that he's been nominated for this, uh, this honor. Hi, my name is Robert Sines. I'm a math teacher here at Constitution. And David Hummel is not only a great student, but just a great person. He's always asking teachers if they need help with anything. Um, I have him for my discrete math class this year. And he's also great with helping other students when they are not picking up on something as quickly as he is, um, which is a great help to me because there's only one of me and so many students. So it's great to have David in the class to help those that I'm not able to get around to each time. 
Uh, even though this is only the first year that I've actually taught David, I feel like I've known him since I started here at Constitution. He's just so friendly, always asking teachers how they're doing, saying hi in the hallway. So he's a pleasure to have in class, and we're very lucky to have him here at Constitution. I congratulate David and his parents for this honor.